Hey guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to go over how to connect your Sonoff with the Tasmoda firmware to Hapdash Node.js so you can use it with Siri and as well as natively host Alexa. So the first thing you want to run is sudo wget go.gl slash ka capital M lowercase x capital M capital M and click enter. This downloads the installation script and the next command you want to run is sudo sh and the same line ka capital M x mm -M. and so this downloads all the necessary files and as well as installs everything this takes about 10 minutes and right after that you can enter the hap dash nodejs folder and then go to the accessories folder and once you're in the accessories folder you want to run the command sudo nano sonoff mqtt accessory.js make sure your case matches and click enter So once you're in the file, uh, so here you can see the complete um, beginning of the file. So if you're using a different uh, uh, MQTT broker or a server-based one rather than the one natively on the Pi, you want to change the IP address. But you want to come down to where you see the var name. And so change that to what you would like the accessory to be uh, called in HomeKit. And so in my case, I'm going to name it uh, Bedroom Lights. And then come down to var MQTT name and change this from anything to Sonoff. So in my case, I'm just going to make it bedroom lights. Make sure there's no spaces. Yep. And yeah, so once you've made sure that um, the MQTT name has no spaces and you're happy with your name, you can just exit the file with Control X, click Y, and click Enter. And this saves the file. And so then you can go to the previous folder. Next, you want to go and open Safari and open your Sonoff um, configuration page. And so this might take a few seconds. And so now that you're at the Sonoff page, uh, go down to configuration. And then go to configure MQTT. And then for host, change this to whatever your uh, Pi's IP address is. And then change the topic to uh, uh, whatever you set your other thing as. So I, I named mine Bedroom Lights, make sure it's one word, and click Save. And uh, if it asks to save password, just click Never. And so now you can see that it has restarted the device with the new parameters. Click on Main Menu, go back to uh, Console, and you can see that you should be able to see the MQTT messages, so that means that it was successfully able to connect to the server and send all the data. And then go back and you want to go to Configuration again. And now you want to scroll down to configure other. Here, so here in friendly name, set it to whatever you set the accessory name as. So for my case, I'm setting it as bedroom lights. And then for emulation, set it to Belkin Wemo and click save. And so you can see that it takes a few seconds. So give it a few seconds and click main menu. So I think my uh, Sonoff is still rebooting, but if I reload, there you can see it, it's reloaded. And you can see now it's called Bedroom Lights. So you can toggle it on and off. Um, so yeah, so if you go to console again, you should be seeing the MQTT messages. That means it was successfully able to connect. So now we can come back to the Pi. So uh, let's run the uh, node, sudo node core.js or sudo node bridgedcore.js depending on whatever you're using but for my case today I'll be using bridgedcore.js okay so now that the uh, node has uh, parsed the accessory uh, without any errors we can move on to the pairing step on my iPad okay so now we're at the uh, my iPad and so we're gonna start pairing so since I used bridgedcore I'm gonna enter my code manually uh, 03145 Oops, four five one five four, and you you can see it starts to pair, and you can see that it's successfully added. And uh, if you just go through this, you can see our lights. So now you can see the sawn off is right there. So if you click on, it should turn on, turn on and off, vice versa. So if you click the button on the sawn off, it should also update the status here as well. Now let's pair it with Alexa. Okay, so now I'm on the Alexa app on my uh, iPad as well, and so you want to go to the smart home section and then click Discover Devices. So then it starts searching for devices. 
on your network. So if you give it a few seconds, So there you can see it's detected the new bedroom lights. So uh, once that's connected, um, that means that everything is now successfully connected. And now here's a demo of Alexa with the sun off. Alexa, turn off secondary bedroom light stand. Okay. Alexa, turn on secondary bedroom light stand. Okay. Alright guys, thanks for watching. That's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, um, please feel free to put it in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks again.